Hey guys, it's Allie. It's really late. It's 10 of 12. I'm really bad at remembering things lately. Oh my goodness, I'm really sorry. I have just been forgetting things left and right, and I think I really just have something going on in my brain that's messed up. But yeah, so this week we're talking about our first online friends, and I was such a nerd as a child, as far as like internet friends went. Like, in seventh grade, literally the day before school started, I moved up to a new county where I didn't know anyone in the boonies. I grew up in the city, and so like, I was like really isolated and really shy for my first year in Hartford County, and so I used our newfound internet, like a really big deal in our house, um, to make friends online. And so, I don't know if any of you guys remember Neopets. It was like an online game where you adopted like this mythical creature thing, and then you could like do like battle challenges or like fashion shows and there were like mini games and stuff to play and there were also message boards and that's when I first got into online role playing and uh, I remember I was always on the fantasy boards because I was a fantasy geek and somewhere along the way I met this person who called himself Shun not Sean but Shun S-H-U-N and um, we were doing like a dragon fantasy role play back and forth and um, just got to know each other well, so I thought, and um, we would like role play. And then I, at one point, we both like expressed our interest in writing, and so we decided we were going to role play out um, this storyline. And then I was going to transcribe it into a novel, and that went on for like a year and a half, and it was really cool. However, when we were not role playing, Sean, um, who allegedly lived in Canada, um, would have a lot of drama going on in his life where, like, his father was abusive, and his brother died, and he was in a fire, and, like, every couple of months something really dramatic would happen to Sean, and I'd get all broken up about it, until I think I was in ninth grade, where he allegedly went into a coma after a car accident or something, and it was some bullshit, and I, I kind of believed it, and I also was kind of hurt, because I kind of also thought more likely this person was just lying to me because I didn't want to be friends anymore or something. And it was really irritating. And it came out maybe like three or four months later, the person was like, hey, I didn't know what to do. I was feeling really guilty. I'm a chick. Uh, this is my name, blah, 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 blah. I hope we can be friends. And we like fell out of talking for a while. And then a while, like maybe a year later, she tried talking to me and she was like, hey, I really liked how we we, like, we wrote together, I really like it if we could like pick up where we left off. And I was like, no, I can't trust you, you're a crazy liar face. No. So that was weird. Um, another online friend I made on Neopets, oh, I forget her name now, but she also pretended to be a dude when she was really a chick. Her, she went by the name Dark, I don't remember what her real name is, I think it might be Alex or something, but she was really nice and we also role played together and just like whatever we're cool friend people things. Um, not creepy people that lie about things or whatever for whatever reason. Um, I mean, the internet is so anonymous. You can be whoever you want to be, and if you feel the need to like act as in, like another gender, that's fine and all, I guess. But like, it's just weird when people lie to you. Ugh, I don't know. The internet's a scary place, and you kids should not trust what everyone tells you on the internet. But um, positive experience I've had. Um, I actually met. Don't laugh at me. I met uh actually three. Well. Two boyfriends online who were not actually from dating websites. Um, my first boyfriend offline, his name was Kyle Loden, and we dated for three years. And I actually went down to New Mexico to visit him, and we're still in good, we're still good friends. We are still in contact with each other. He's married. He has two kids. He's doing really well for himself. He's um, like trying to get into working in the video game business as a programmer. So he's doing really well. Um, and then my ex-fiance Dave, we actually met on MySpace on a um, American Indian rights. Um, like chat room message board club thing um, and we're still really good friends and I helped raise his two kids and I'm just really close to his family and everything and then I met a slew of my former boyfriends off of OkCupid so <laughs> I live on the internet it's really weird now that I think about it how many people but um, other positive experiences would be on crafter.org I've met a lot of really awesome people on there who I've become friends with, like, you get together and you're like, hey, we're gonna do this theme of a craft swap. I'm gonna make this for you, you make this for me, we get things in the mail and it's awesome. And I've, like, I have a bunch of friends on my Facebook who are from Crafts on there. Um, Allison Mack, 
Um, one of them, I just recently did a YouTube video for her, for her uh, one of her classes online. Um, just all kinds of people. Like, the internet is such a, like, it's such an interesting place. Like, there's the potential to meet people and have genuine friendships, and then there are people who, for whatever reason, feel the need to lie and just stuff, so please be careful on the internet, guys. Yeah. Um, so that's my story about online friends. I think that's, those are all the crazy stories. Otherwise, um, the reason why I'm showing, doing this so late is I went to go see Superman, which was awesome, and I highly recommend you guys to go see it, because Lois Lane is a badass in that movie. And this is coming from a person who really doesn't like DC, and who really just was in totally whatever about Superman, but this Superman is hot. And he wears glasses. And that's awesome. So, yes, I'm gonna go now so I can upload this video. Well, it's still technically still Monday. I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna start filming these ahead of time so I can get back on track. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, quickly, before I go, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the Geek Girl meetup in DC. I feel terrible. Like, I was talking to Amber and we were trying to reach the ride schedule and everything. And as I was talking to her, my friend popped up and was like, hey, uh, you're my maid of honor and bridesmaid lady. Um, we're gonna do a dress fitting tomorrow because what's your face from Georgia I can come up this weekend for Father's Day. We need to go try and bridesmaid dresses. But thankfully we got the dresses. I paid for my dress. I got it. It is gorgeous and I'll actually be able to wear it again. So yay! Not an ugly ass dress. So happy. Yes. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.